Now, as we know, the election campaign got a little ugly with the negative ads. I talked to the African American Society, they had different opinions on negative advertising. Some people say, you know what, newbie, it's just plain politics. I mean, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't seen any, too much of any of the commercials on TV or anything like that. But I mean, I've heard of them and I feel, I feel like once you're, when you're running, when two candidates are going for elections, I, I feel like anything goes. I mean, if, the, if that's what it takes, some people, some people, you know, take on that, uh, those commercials and it helps them, it helps them in their decision making and some helps them and it doesn't. So, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's good and bad because sometimes some people actually listen to it, some people believe it and some people don't. So I guess it depends on how you look at it, but I really haven't really seen too, too much of them. John McCain starts off every rally by saying, my friends, let's take a closer look at the crowd. His friends include Richard Reed, the shoe bomber. There's no telling what this guy would do. We can't trust him. Too risky. No way. No how. No cane. You know what? Um, in this tough Chicago politics as Barack Obama's in, I think this is, it's fantastic. I really love the negative ads because you know what? It adds fuel to the fire because you know what? If, if you, it shows that Barack Obama has thick skin. As well as John McCain too. You know, you got to have thick skin to run this country, especially where the economy is right now. The international is a mess right now in terms of foreign relations and terrorists. I think it's great that, you know what, you, you got to prove as a politician that you can take a hit and still stand up. I mean, I know Joe Biden always said, once you get knocked down, champ, get up. And we're seeing Barack Obama and we're seeing John McCain, we're seeing them both get up. So I actually enjoy, I think it's actually entertaining seeing the negative ads. Michelle Obama wore a blue dress today. Do you know what color the ocean is when it's reflected off the sky? It's blue. The same blue water that destroyed Asia in the tsunami. Don't let Barack Obama and Michelle Obama wipe out our economy. No way. No how. No Obama. It's politics. That's what you do. I mean, to get people to watch you and to get people more interested in, in the um, elections, that's what you have to do. It's just playing politics. John McCain says he doesn't want tax hikes for anybody. Anybody? In the whole entire world, even Osama bin Laden, no way, no how, no McCain. For the Republican side, I'm pretty sure they, they, they're they seen as a negative, of course. You know, they don't, they don't really want that as a, they don't really want a president of African-American descent, you know, for, for the means that we all know why. But, you know, for a Democratic aspect, um, it is a good and a bad because, you know, we could have had Hillary. She had experience in the, in the White House, but, you know, for... The way that it's turned out for myself, I think it's a, it's a positive. Barack Obama says he wants to, quote, spread the wealth. What's next? Spreading anthrax. There's no telling what this guy would do. No way. No how. No Obama. Negative ads is just part of politics. Um, as somebody that's interested in politics, I mean, that's just, that's just part of the field. I mean... You have to you have to make the other person in a negative light in order to put yourself even brighter. So um, I don't think any less of either one of them for doing it. Um, I think it's just part of the industry. It's something that you have to do, um, especially when you're running for president. Um, you can't have everybody looking um, looking good. You have to you have to shine people in a negative light of some sort. Um, I haven't really seen much mudslinging, which that gets into some issues, but. Um, negative ads, I mean, it's just something that needs to be done and has to be done. Senator John McCain has white hair. Do you know who else wears white? The Ku Klux Klan. No way, no how, no cane. You know, Barack Obama may be half white, half black. The underlying theme is, you know what, America has made progress of electing someone of color in the White House. In the words of the great Tupac, it's time to make a change. Let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. Let's change the way we treat each other. And hopefully Barack Obama could carry the torch that many African Americans did, such as Martin Luther King, Jesse Jackson, Malcolm X, and hopefully light up a little torch in our country called the United States of America. Remember what Barack Obama said, Barack Hussein Obama, a person coming from an immigrant parent, his father from Kenya, and his mother being very poor in Kansas City, this is the only country where this story could happen. 
a young black kid who's half white, half black, poor, now being the leader of our country.